Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Trix and I talk about things. Today I'm going to be talking about a game called Commanding Nations which is by 7 Volts Games. It's just come into early access and I wanted to talk about it as someone who was a beta tester for basically every Command & Conquer except maybe the first two. Alright let's get to it. It's made with Unity and at the moment it's very bare bones. There's two maps, two factions and there's a lot that needs done. There is some promise in this game and the designer or company behind it are very excited about it. It wants to be uh, either a clone or a spiritual successor of Command & Conquer Generals. However, as someone who has played a lot of these games and beta tested these games, I'm going to offer my thoughts on this game, whether it's going to be um, a Space DF9 or it's going to be a Banished, either low or good. First thing I'd like to say is that while I admire the passion of the person who is building this game, it has to be said that there is a very small team behind it and it looks like they are releasing stuff far too early for it to be any way presentable. That's my opinion and that's mine alone. However, there is some good things in this game. I like the idea that he's inspired by Command & Conquer Generals, which is one of the better Command & Conquers, but he also seems to be stuck in that three faction thing where he could have uh, he didn't have to do three he could have done two he could have done you know eight there was one kind of conquer clone game that i think that had six factions at one point but it never really went anywhere however the rock paper scissors he might be doing with the hong the scabs and the other one um are obviously inspired by the scabs are obviously the gla the hong are across between the eurasian dynasty and the lunar corporation in Earth 2160, but they're also supposed to be the Chinese quote unquote faction in the game Commanding Nations. Look, I'm going to be um, perfectly honest about this game because I think sugarcoating it is going to lead people into disappointment. And I've seen people hype up games and I've seen them say, This is going to be the next X, Y, and Z. This has the potential to be good. However, it's not on that level yet. It's far too early for it to be in early access like it is. And it's far too early for anyone to really go it's bad or good. There is issues with it, such as the pathfinding, such as the ugly unit design in the infantry. You can't really tell who are who, in, especially in the scab units. I like the sort of modular design of the buildings that the scabs have the like very um, ramshackle. But it doesn't do that ramshackle enough for it to be very interesting if you understand um, they're very plain and very dull looking the buildings on both sides the hong and the um, scabs there is also a power plant mechanic with the power plants for the hong faction um, the ui is very basic he does go into like what's going to happen with the ui in a video which i'll link in the description but at the moment it seems to want to be generals instead of its own thing and that could be a major issue for it in my opinion when you look at um the other game I've talked about, Rising Tempest, that wants to be a spiritual successor to Command & Conquer Tiberium Universe, and it's doing that very well. This, at the moment, Commanding Nations doesn't really see to be doing that, and until it wants to be its own thing instead of a clone, um, I can't really say that it's worth looking at Yeah, until there's more in it. There's basically two maps, two factions. Uh, some of the units don't really work, such as the airplanes in the Hong faction. Uh, the pathfinding units of the scav vehicles are... I'm really really balked. Um, sometimes units don't fire. Sometimes you have to recommand units to do something, especially the building ones with the Hong faction. Um, you're looking at some gameplay footage that I've, I've got here and that's what I've just noticed in it. I will say lastly that I want it to be good. I want the RTS based building game to be back. This isn't quite there yet. I will keep an eye on it and I will keep people updated if you're interested. Stay tuned to the channel. Um, we will look at Tempest Rising when eventually that goes to what it access. I think that does in January 23 or February 23, and we'll have a look at that then. Let's stay tuned and let's keep looking at Commanding Nations. The U updated UI that he presents in the video in the description, I think, does look slightly better. But again, that looks like a pay-to-win um, game that you'd get like with Command and Conquer Rivals. It reminds me of that and that wasn't a very good game at all. It was just a cash grab by EA. Um, so that's what it reminds me of. Apart from that, the Fog of War is going to be apparently implemented, which is good because, you know, I liked Fog of War in 
in games it gave another dynamic where you just got the whole map and you can see everything at the moment that's that's another thing i noticed but yeah that's it that's really all i can say about it one to watch but it could be a df9 which is not worth your time but it might be a banished so there we go thank you for your time i'm tricks and that's it bye bye